Hello everyone, uh, this is Manny again and I, I just want to say welcome back to IPO Repairs uh, video tutorials. Today's video tutorials is going to be on how to uh, replace Samsung A21S LCD screen and also simply a complete teardown of the whole device. And I want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to all the subscribers that has made me cross the 100 subs uh, um, level. Thank you so much. And I look forward to more subscription so that we can grow together. Without further ado, I just want to straight get into my business as usual. And uh, before you do this, you have to take off. You have to turn off the device. But unfortunately, this device can't be turned off because the screen is completely broken and it's got a password on. So I am going to actually warm the back straight, uh, warm the back a bit for a few seconds, which has been on this uh, heating mat uh, for a while. So at least you have to warm it about three to four minutes to touch. And then you can loosen the adhesive underneath the uh, battery uh, cover so you can start moving it, uh, removing the back cover. So without further ado, I will start now with this business quickly. And to save time, guys. There we go. This is my first two, which is very flexible, shiny, and flat at the same time, very thin. And this allow, allows you to look for a space anywhere at the back that you can stop prying along. There we go. Thankfully, I got mine. And then start slicing across. Make sure you don't stick too deep to cut anything just be nice and gentle with it start prying along and you can feel the adhesive cutting through and if yours is not cutting through then you have to make sure you apply a bit more heat to loosen the ad adhesive a little bit more to make it things to make things easier for you. The warmer it is, the better it is. It loosens the adhesive easily. There you go. Nice. looks like we get in there and then I'll put this my metal special in there just to cut the remaining adhesive that is hanging to so that I can remove the back easily okay there we go There we go. And be careful because the back has got the fingerprint scanner at the same time. So be careful you don't yank it. Take it off nice and gentle. and then push a fingerprint scanner in there we go so it detaches from the back so you can remove it you can remove it easily there we go because if you try 
so you can see I push the fingerprint button or scanner in so I can it can detach itself from the back because if it's still held to the back and you still push uh, pulling the back off you will yank the cable of the scanner and that is going to cost you dearly so remember that you see there we go that is taking off nicely and this is the back and this is the inside of the back so I set this aside and this is the fingerprint scanner hanging loosely okay so the first thing to do is to disconnect it from here with your plastic special and then set it aside and now I'll turn off this heat mat and I'm going to now remove how many screws one two three four five six seven eight wow loads eight at the bottom and then at the top are many one two three four five six seven so that means 15 15 screws to be removed okay 15 Phillips screws to be removed so I will start quickly The screws are all the same sizes at this level most samsung phones are like that so you need not to worry much about the screws where to put them you can group them all in one place because they are all the same doesn't matter if you mix them up or not I haven't done any video for a while after about I think a week or two weeks I think I'm not quite sure so this is my first time after this short layoff okay taking all the screws off where is my there we go found it I was just looking for my other two to pinch the screws Hey, stop it. Just come out. There we go, stop on screw. we go okay now I deal with the top top part and the first thing to do because you've left it on whilst 
working on it it's not good as usual so the first thing you do when you are able to get to the battery is to disconnect the battery that's the best practice that's why i wanted to turn it off earlier but uh, the option wasn't there because this screen is broken badly you can't see anything and this one requires a uh, what is it called the um, password to turn them off for security reasons okay so i'm taking off the screws now there we go Okay, almost done, screws are almost done now, it's left with last one, sorry for the shaking of the cameras guys. There we go, so now all the screws have been removed what you will do is to take the sim tray out so you can take the middle frame off the screen so I'm going to take the sim tray out by using my paper clip oh, let's see why it's not coming out there we go out now i'll set it aside and now start removing the paper eh, the middle frame so what you do is you use your fingernail or any flat head spacer or any tool that is flat that can actually lick for a tiny space for you to start prying along the middle frame between the middle frame and the screen okay there we go found the space so now i'll start prying along with my you can feel the clicks releasing the latches releasing with the clicking sounds there we go all around there we go now it is safe to remove Let's see this side there we go nicely as you can see that's the loudspeaker here that's six with the uh, what is it called the middle frame and I'm um, straight going to disconnect the battery before I do any other thing if I am lucky enough to not damage anything with the battery on there we go battery off uh, disconnected sorry and then I'm going to take off the, uh, what is it called, the, the cable, the main cable that connects the motherboard to the daughter board. So I'll take it off and take it off from the daughter board as well. And then set it aside. There we go. And then I'll disconnect the, uh, what is it called, the... Um, the uh, network cable of the motherboard there we go and then take it out of its groove
nicely and tidy okay now I want to take the daughter board off by wedging underneath the daughter board with my metal special Okay. That is out. And then I'll set it aside. And then I am going to take out the motherboard, which is this. It is being held down firmly by one tiny black screw, which is almost hidden so if you are not careful you will break the motherboard by just forcefully taking it out without taking the uh what is it called out the screw out so the motherboard is this has come off you can see and you can take this camera off that's the back camera the three back cameras by unclipping this clips off here as simple as that and you can take off uh, the front camera also by unclipping this one and it's just simple just for you to see now I am going to take uh, what is it called the vibration motor out of it but before then let me check the new screen this is the new screen and i'll put the description uh the 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 contact in the description below okay this one has got a vibration motor so i don't need to remove or replace the vibration motor uh, i would like to let you see it's got a speaker as uh, an earpiece as well which is the ear speaker as well this is the ear speaker and this is the vibration motor if it doesn't have this two i would have actually removed from this old screen and transferred them onto the new screen this is the earpiece there i don't need it because it can, uh, this one came with it so bear that in mind what i need to remove now is the battery so I'm going to warm the front of the screen a bit to allow me to easily remove the uh, battery. Sorry, I had a guest. Uh, let's go on okay now let's see if we can pry out the battery without any problems okay let me warm it a little bit more it will make things and my life a bit more easier okay let's try again the only reason why i'm warming the front of the screen is to losing the adhesive behind the battery so i can easily take it out there we go and it came up nicely and if you don't have a heat map you can use uh, what is it called the um, A hairdryer 
or hit gun and you can also loosen it by using uh, isopropanol 98% to remove it by spraying underneath and round it that will loosen it out so now I am straight going to put adhesive strips double-sided tape and this carbon here so I can put the battery on usually I like to put just two uh, this one looks very large so I'll put three so it can hold it properly and then take off the top bit the top white bit there we go there we go there we go and then I'll take this plastic off mm-hmm stick the battery in nice and then firmly and gently press it down so it sticks now I'm going to put the motherboard in straight okay and then put a black screw and screw it down to hold the screw uh, the motherboard down okay so now that is done so what I'm going to do now is to insert the daughter board also here. There we go. Align it perfectly and push it down so it sticks because it's got uh, a little glue underneath there so it sticks down and then I will align the network cable in the groove and tuck it down to satisfaction there we go it's nicely done and then clip it into its position and then you feel the click that means your job is done perfectly well okay so now what I'm going to do is to stick the battery connector in okay and I can just by testing the screen By pressing now, pressing the power button to see if it comes on. Oh, sorry, I've forgotten. I need to disconnect it again. I need to put the cable on. The cable, the motherboard, and the daughter board connected, a uh, cable connector wasn't placed on, so I will have to put that one on first. So we can see the display. Without that, we can't see anything. It's pointless. So let me clip it back on the motherboard now. There we go. And then this. There we go. So now push the battery connector in. It's done. And then I will test it 
to see if it is all right, if the screen is working okay. By pressing the power button here now, there we go. Voila, she is back and smiling happily. So now we'll we'll try and test the touch and see if everything is normal before I put the middle frame on and then screw it back as quickly as I can to save time. We are almost there, guys. Almost there. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. So let's see. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay. There we go. I just want to check if everything is working here. Touch everything is nice. Working. So all I'm going to do now is by putting the middle frame back in place. So what I will do first is put in the front or the upper part of the uh, device in first or the screen in the middle frame first. And that always gives us a good leverage to put the whole screen into the frame without any resistance. So there we go. Let me take it out and do it again so you can see, you see? Make sure you align it properly so the pins here, the four pins here will stick. That's the both, the two pins, oh, sorry. This pins here, one, two, three, four, will align properly onto this pins here in the middle frame to allow connection. So I will just stick it in like that and then start to press gently but firmly at the same time into the middle frame and you can feel the clicks as you go along. There we go. There we go. This is the best feeling ever when everything is clicking into place like that. And it can be a, a it can be a worse feeling as well if it doesn't. At least to me, it is a worse feeling if it doesn't. Okay. Now here it's time to put your uh what is it called? Fingerprint connector on. There we go. And let it sit in its place. Now, at this time, I'm going to start screwing the screws back into place as quick as I can. Okay. Right. Job done. I'm just left with the back or the battery cover to be put on it. And I will shout out adios. Guys. As always, I appreciate you watching and subscribing. So please, if it's not a hassle, please give us a thumbs up, share, like it, and subscribe for us. This way, anytime we upload new videos, you'll be the first to see it. 
I always do videos like this to save you money if you take a chance to do it yourself and initially it will seem like a daunting task but it isn't at all once you start doing them and your confidence soars it becomes your second nature guys it is easy to do these things just apply the normal principles to it and you'll be fine trust me so all the screws are getting back there we go it's all done it's all done okay so now i'm going to put the glue at the back and then screw it i said screw it sorry and then press it firmly so it sticks and this is mine i'll show you after i finish applying this uh, adhesive all along this side Now it's done. All that is left is putting the back on nice and tidy. There we go. I'm just trying to uh, remove a little bit of uh, leftover residue glue or adhesive. And now I line the bike nicely so that uh, the fingerprint scanner can fit into its groove or hole, I should say. And then gently and firmly press it down. so it can sit properly there we go so all job done and then now i'll put the sim tray back into its place and Fellas, I say adios. Job done. And thanks for stopping by. See you in our subsequent videos. Ciao.